what's going on everyone so today i'm going to show you how to make a super simple website design in figma so it's going to be very basic nothing too fancy but it's going to be around software and sort of that startup style vibe for the website design with the focus on actually creating a call to action or getting people to sign up so i'm sure you've probably seen this already so without further ado let's get into figma so make sure you watch the video all the way to the end if you want to figure out how to design this and also any feedback anything you want to talk about comment down below so we can connect but without further ado here i am on figma and first thing we do is hit f click on the frame so i'm gonna go with desktop and then let's go here and click on desktop really quick you can rename this if you'd like but um i'm gonna click on layout grid and i'm going to separate this in half so i'm gonna click on columns and then i'm gonna go with two and then just put that to zero so this makes it easier for me to see you don't have to do this but again this is just optional now if i zoom in let me see if i go zoom in here click on this grid i want to change this layout so let's go ahead and pick a color so i'm gonna go with like a bluish yeah i'm gonna go with like a bluish color here and just keep it like this and zoom out really quick and next let's go hit the t button press text and i'm type in all in one email marketing software okay so now let me increase this let's do let's see 50 maybe all right let me drag this over here to this other half now I'm gonna go and first change this to white. And this, I'm gonna change the text. It's on Monster Rat. I mean, you can use whatever text you like, but I personally love this text. And then semi bold, let's see, bold. Right, let's start with bold first and see. And I currently have a um, 0.2 on thing. You can you can play around with this, but I'm just, I'm gonna put 0 0.2 for right now. And let's do 100 on the spacing from the side so on the left and then from the top we could probably do um let me see if i do probably 350 all right perfect all right so now you know exactly where this is located and i'm gonna hit command d so click on the text hit command d scroll down and then type in c y 100,000 customers love us and next thing I'm going to do is change this to medium, the, t the font size to 32. Seems like it's still a little too big. So let me, uh, let me do, let's try 26. All right, perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to put spacing, I'm going to do 24. And actually, let's do, let's do semi-bold actually, let's see how this looks. Actually, I'm gonna do, I'll keep it back. Control, uh, Command Z if you're on Mac, keep it back to this. And let's do, uh, press R and let's draw a rectangle. So I'm gonna make this one 60 in height. And let's see, two, yeah, 220 is fine. And then corner radius is five. And let's do, uh, let's do 30, 40, 64. <clears throat> And let's change this coloring to orange. So let's go here. So the color I'm using is this one, but you can obviously uh, play around with that color if you want to. Let me zoom out, press the T button, click on this and type in sign up. So let's go down here, hit F, change this, I'll do the 24 and let's drag this boy over here. And let's click on the, uh, so make sure you have the text selected and the box. I want to make sure these are aligned properly. So it looks like it's aligned. Keep it here. These are fine. You don't have to do this, but it's already aligned there. And let's actually, let's see if darker makes it look better. All right, yeah. So it's all right. I'm going to make this a little bit um, darker so it's easier to see the text. And let's zoom out. All right, perfect. So now we need to create the menu items. So let's go here, Command D. I usually do that, you can just press T, doesn't matter. But um, here, let's do home. And if you have it like this, where it's like super long, just hover over with like 
the blue line and then once it makes the arrows you double click and boom you're good to go I'm gonna change these to the 24 and I'll keep the spacing everything the sizing and just command D or you can actually uh, just hold when you click it hold option just drag it and it's the same thing so let's do here let's do pricing let's do features and then I'm gonna do a login and then I'm gonna create a I'm gonna create a separate button for the sign up or I'll just copy and paste that one so now I'm gonna click on each of these individually and I'm gonna zoom in and now you can see this little pink line so this basically distributes it evenly so let me bring let me drag this to 64 and see how this looks so you could do it manually or you could do it this way it's up to you so now let's drag over these command G I'm gonna name this uh, menu and let's drag it up to the top so here I'll probably do let's do 40 and uh, let's see spacing size let me get rid of this uh, this column thing here and let me drag copy so click on this uh, sign up and click on the rectangle as well and command group that command G so you group it together let's put sign up button and now I'm just gonna command D or just copy it and bring it up here so the buttons a little big up here so I'm gonna actually resize it so actually that we can press K it's up to you but um let's try let's try 180 and then let's do 60 all right so click on the text I'm gonna double click on this one and then I'm gonna resize this one to 20 drag it up here and click there and yeah, it should be set. So now I drag it that up. Let's do 64 spacing on the side and keep it at 40. Let's drag these over here. So now we have it's centered at this point. So it's at 52, but it's centered with this button. And let me do, let's see, 61, 2, 4 and currently we have it looking like this so super simple super basic and again you can always change this uh the spacing in between here but for this example you can get the point there and i'll just put a little logo uh like the, the word logo i mean obviously you would change this in uh your actual website but this idea would be over here so make it look a little cooler all right so centered here and let's do 64 make sure it's even yeah all right, so now it's currently how it's looking right now. And next thing, all we need to do now is just make a little illustration logo right here. And obviously, you'd have to add like additional stuff, but uh, let's go down and actually let me make one on the side. So, first thing I'm going to do is draw a rectangle. And again, there's other ways you can do this, but this way is just sim simple and easy to do it. Let's do 400. Yeah, 400, 400. Let's unlink this and let's do, let's do 300. All right, so now I'm gonna change this to white, and then let's click here. So now here you have a couple options. So what I'm gonna do is actually drag this right here and just drag it down to the side like this. And the reason I'm doing it like this is you'll see in a second. And actually, I wanna make the height a little smaller. So let's go, let's do it with um, 350. Actually, wrong one. Let's do 250. All right, so perfect. All right, so here's the height 250 now. And now what I'm gonna do is click on this and make it. Let's do 10. And currently, I'm gonna command D this. So now I'll command D it, and let me change the color so you can see what I'm doing. Let's flip it horizontally. So now you can see this. Now again, you could draw it out like this. To where now it's like that and then what you can do is change this coloring so let's do like a whitish actually keep it like a because you can't see it on the blue but let's let's try something else here let me try like a yellow maybe like a yellow with a linear and again right now i'm just freestyling so Let's see here. No, 
Okay, yeah. So let's keep it like that. And let's keep this one. I'm going to just keep it like that for now. And then next thing you want to do, I'm going to draw another rectangle. And let's make sure it's the same width. So 400. Let's just do 150 for this. I'm going to drag this down here. And again, you can drag it all the way down too. It doesn't matter. But let me go and make this 10 so it matches. I'm going to send this to the back. So right click. And then double click on it until you see it like this. So now I'm just going to click this middle button and just simply drag it up. So I'm holding shift at the same time just to keep it straight. But you can keep it. And again, you can play around with the sizing. But now I'm going to do is click. Let's see here. All right, yeah, it looks pretty good. I could click this and change this to like 15, make it a little more rounded. But for the most part, it's pretty good here. So now I'm going to do is double click on the gray background. Bring the color wheel over here, solid, click here. And let me change this background like, like a darker. Let me see, play around this. Like a darker color. I can play around more, but for now, let's just keep it like this. And then hit rectangle one more time. And just draw a rectangle like this. Now this one's going to be white. And we can put like five here. And make sure it's centered with this. And then just send this to the back. And then find this one and just bring this one in front here. Okay, so now I need to change this color. So now click on the left white triangle. And let's see. Blue doesn't look a little weird. So let me do um, like a yellow. And let's do a linear here. So let's go over. Click on this one. And let's make it a little darker. Boom, and then simply now just draw rectangles. So sizing, let's do, let's do 12, 180. And click on the white uh, paper with the rectangle at the same time. Let's line this spacing. Let's do it here. And let's try, let me see what blue looks like. Looks weird or not. Let me just keep it like this. So Command D this, and then go down. Shift, you can hold Shift and just do 10. In between the spacing and command D and boom super basic and I'm just gonna go and command G all of these so scroll that and just put that the like email icon or logo boom right there and boom so the coloring looks a little off I mean you can change the coloring so I can make the back like just like a darkish orange but again, it's up to you. You can mess around with this. This is just like something I just made up around the spots. And currently, this is how it looks. So we can, you know, align this. Probably put, um, let's do 150 here. And then right there. And boom, super simple website. So now let's actually preview this. See what it looks like on like a full screen desktop. So Figma, depending on your Mac or uh, Windows or whatever laptop or computer you're on, it's going to be different scale. So I'm, I'll go down here. So click on top right and go scale down to fit width. So here's it previewed on my desktop right now. And you can see this is what it currently looks like. And again, this is super simple and basic. I could probably make the menu item smaller and make it look a little more zoomed out. But for the most part, you get the picture, essentially the setup and how to start it off. And then from there, you can go and customize it however you like. And then you can see here, click on sign up, boom. And this looks like random email thing we just made there. But aside from that, this completes the beginner tutorial on making a website with Figma. So if you enjoyed this, go down below and hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to follow me along and learn UX UI design together. And comment down below any thoughts you have. And aside from that, I'll see you in the next video.